I'm a farm boy from the Shurken fields of Guatemala who had a lot of skills, but they were undeveloped with a lot of potential, but it wasn't realized, but it was not yet uh, put out to the world. Farm boy from the Shurken fields of Guatemala stays in the United States, works in a warehouse during high school. You're not supposed to really do that. But when you have to pay your bills, you know how they say, you gotta do what you gotta do. And I was box after box after box every night. I got all built up. My nickname was Six Pack. I still got it. It's really an inspiration and I think he reached out to a lot of people, and not only students but also faculty, staff. I enjoyed the presentation today from Mr. Vasquez. I come here to the United States in 2006, undocumented. I enrolled in high school in 2008 because unlike many parents, my mom's plan was for me to work, not to go to school. I convinced her, I said, I need to speak English, mom, I need to. So I graduated and I said, I need to do something with my life, but jobs, I, I wouldn't get good jobs because I didn't have my DACA. And police pulled me over because I was speeding. I thought I was like fast and furious, you know? I was going fast and the police got furious. He said, may I see your driver's license? I said, I don't have one. He said, I'm sorry, officer, I don't have one. He says, I'm sorry, young man, I'm gonna have to take your car. So imagine a teenager, high school student, has to take out his backpack out of the car, takes out his book, and just stay on the, right, on the side of the road at 3 a.m. and just watch his car get towed away. That was me before that time. What are my goals? What qualifies me to talk to you about achieving goals through positive thinking? I had to stay positive when I was coming through the desert. I had to stay positive when I was coming through Mexico. Besides my professional experience at work, I made it my mission to inspire others like myself who may have grown up without parents who may have gone to school during tough times, who may not have had documents like me. I was very invigorated and had the humor, the energy, the politics. I want to hear more of you. <laughs> and I hope that you get all the opportunities to speak and, and share your testimony. It's amazing and, and powerful. It gives people hope where there's no hope. In the Bible, it talks about hope that surpasses understanding, and I think you helped with that.